Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. We got Manny with us. What's up, Manny? What's up, Devil? We're what going, are on this? We're gonna go over some of these uh, these new uh, cards that uh, we got today. Twenty twenty new cards. Um, you ready to go over these? Let's go. All right. Uh, first one uh, to quote uh, Donkey from Shrek. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I messed up that. That soldier is about to get wrecked, dude. There is, he is on the point of no return right there. Yeah, they, uh, they're just chucking rocks at him, man. Uh, so it's a boulder special organic. Deal seven damage to an enemy, and move it to the row above. So if you throw it on siege, it goes to ranged. Yeah. If and that row is full, destroy the enemy instead. So. Um, Herbalist can pull this. It's an organic, so this might help out uh, Axeman because it'll move the unit and then take the damage. Northern Realm's also having some synergy with that, right? Like uh, a couple of specials, uh, new cards, that w a couple of new cards that work with the special uh, cards. It seems pretty good as well. Yeah, it's it. to me, these cards here, they seem like, like I said, something for the draft mode more or less but uh i don't know something interesting i mean uh, I, I i can't see them little herbalist girls chucking huge boulders at people but <laughs> if, if you say so cdpr if you say so uh mm -hmm. next one spear special item deal damage equal to the base power of a bronze or silver unit in your hand what do you think of this one manny i think that uh I was thinking about like some NG uh, synergy because there is some uh, cards that you will actually use with special as or items. And let's be honest, uh, Nilfgaard has some of the biggest strength units in the game, so it could be it could be a thing. I I don't see somebody running three of a set in the deck so far with the cards that have been revealed. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah, they do got some like tens and elevens in their in their deck, so definitely uh, something they can knock out, no problem. It's take it could take out most Skellige cards if you look at it that way. Um, so yeah, that one, uh, like I said, they, they, I'm I'm still waiting to see what all what all these are, but it looks like there's going to be about six more of them here, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, next one. Uh, Stregobor, Mage. Each player draws a unit and sets its power to one. And it's got a tag on here, Truce. I just noticed that. So that's a new mechanic. No. <laughs> so it could. <laughs> it doesn't say gold or anything. So this thing might actually pull your like, you know, your best gold card and just take it straight down to a one. That. Uh, I it, mean. It seems like a it, mill card, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was going to say, it, technically, yes, he can do that, but it's going to be played by a mill player. Mm. So when the mill player is actually going to do it, it's going to get to those point of cards that he doesn't really mind grabbing, and he's just going to use it in order to mill you. And having an extra one plus uh, milling you one is very, very important. So that is a mill card, in my opinion. I don't see, I don't see another function to it. Mm -mm. No, not really. I mean, I, I don't. The minute I saw it, I seen. I just thought mill, and I'm like, uh, um, it, it, if you're gonna play mill, it seems like a really great card. But I'm I'm not a fan of mill. So um, the artwork on it's incredible. Um, oh yeah. We'll jump to the next one. Uma's curse. Everybody was going pretty bonkers over this one. Uh, spell cursed special. Spawn a gold unit and trans transform into it. So it gives you three copies of any gold in the game, and it lets you pick from them. I I really like this. <laughs> I really really like this because you know, you know what the bamboozle effect is really good, right? And like for example, there is some factions that well at least whenever you and I are trying to be like a deck and we're like okay so it's three plus whatever and that whatever is going to be my Uma, yeah. you know it's going to be my wow factor. Yeah, I think, like I was talking to Manny before we started recording this, I think this is pretty cool for 
for players just starting into Gwent. Like, you craft this. You don't have a lot of gold, good gold cards. Uma gives you a shot at getting, you know, a choice of three. It might be three turds. You might draw Saskia Dragonfire and, you know, uh, a couple other ones that aren't going to help you out at all. But more than likely, it's going to be something that can... It's probably better than, you know, your basic vanilla Geralt, so... I don't know. I, th I think it's a pretty cool card. Um, I, I like the, the spawn mechanic. I think it's it's going to it's gonna spice the games up a lot, I think. You know, play play by the dice, die by the dice. Yep, yep. Hey, I'm a, I'm a good gaunter guesser, Manti, so I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> that is true, dude. That is the best gaunter guesser I've seen in my life. I'm going to put you to train with Freddy Babes, dude. Like, that was a... Incredible. Uh, you just have to play them at the end. That's the key. Uh, if you if you wait, if you play them too early, you're risking it. But if, it, if yeah, and, and I mean, it helps when you have Gwent DB up on the other monitor, <laughs> so you can <laughs> so you can guess the cards. But uh, next one we got uh, Alpha Werewolf Cursed Beast. Spawn a wolf on either side if played in the moonlight. So it's like a PFI for werewolves. We still don't know what moonlight does. It sounds like it's going to be a really um, cool archetype for monsters. What do you think of this one, Manny? Uh, I okay. So I don't know what Moonlight does, right? Yeah, but the fact that it will spawn two more units if there is Moonlight, uh, I don't know. I think I like better like uh, the Werewolf, the one that was used before this, the one that was shown before this. Yeah. I think it's a little better, and but I don't know. It's still like once again. We, we will really need to find out what Moonlight does in order for us to do this kind of like card decision. But please don't get on a Twitter uh, yeah. <laughs> rage, yeah. rage fight about Moonlight. We don't know what it is. Yeah, uh, I guess it's named after one of the CDPR devs, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, next one, the most uncomfortable artwork I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, if you watch the stream, uh, this thing's going right into this guy's pupil it's like uh it looks like a tool video but uh, <laughs> it says choose one deal 12 damage to an enemy or boost an ally by 12 it's an organic special um currently i don't believe monsters has anything that pulls special cards is there i mean other than gels right I mean, Gels, yeah. Uh, Gels wanted a buff. He's like, you want to make me 11 strength, man? Look at me now. I'm 13. I don't know if that would be the option. Yeah. Because it's still boosted, right? It's not strengthened. Yeah, Peter would uh, shit all over it. Yeah, definitely. That's like Peter's best uh, gift right there. Yeah. I don't know about this one either, man. This one, it's they, it's kind of appropriate. They put them right next to each other with the, the Striga. They're both just like, yeah, we look uh, cool, but mm, I don't know. You know what would be great? If, like, with the next set of revealing cards, they make Parasite and Striga somehow, like, got, like, you know, they complement those cards so good and we end up looking like... You know, donkey say yeah. that it's terrible. <laughs> I like how two down here at the bottom, they kind of like we got two gold um, crones, so we're, we're gonna get another gold crone. But let's talk oh, about yeah. this one. I love this card, man. Brewis Ritual. It's a relic mage. Um, child labor laws are getting called on this one, man. <laughs> These mm -hmm. kids are, are are in big trouble with this one, but. Uh, Resurrect two bronze death wish units, so you could bring back two neckers, even if they're locked, it brings them back. Um, so now there's three ways to bring back neckers: you got shadow, you got she troll, and you got this. So if you're playing necker spam, you're uh, you're doing a touchdown dance right now. Um, what do you think of this one, man? I, I'm actually like looking the other way around. I don't think that if you're going to be playing like. Uh... The Necker, you're gonna like commit so much to just like the Necker spawn. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking something resurrecting something like bigger, but perhaps that's the correct way to play it. You know, just bring it, make sure that you always have those Neckers. And yeah, it's it's a I dead deck. If you, if you watch yeah. that Gwent Slam, man, that in the end he he didn't draw a single Necker tail bot. So <laughs> if he had yeah. this card, man, he might have had a shot. True, true. Uh, some of the other death wishes, though, I mean, they're just not as 
You know, I mean, would you really want to bring back two harpies? You know, mm, no, definitely not. I was yeah. thinking about more of the eight that does two damage, but then once again, it comes down to too much setup. You know, right, right. All right, so let's jump down to Nilfgaard. Nil Nilfgaard is looking really weird, man. Like compared to what we know, the spy, you know, beat him up type thing. It's it's turning into this like. I don't know, uh, the ointment spell here, uh, alchemy special, choose one, heal an ally and randomly split boost between five allies or resurrect a bronze unit with five or less power. I don't know about this one, man. I mean, you could well, resurrect know, a an elite, a Vanandal elite, and then, you know, nuke your opponent's stuff for, you know, it, it, it's under five, but you can make it higher. Oh no, dude! I'm telling you, dude, this card, in my opinion, is really good. Like, really, really good. And I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. They're making Nilfgaard weird. They're making Nilfgaard really good. Like, oh god, I really like these cards. Okay, so check this out. Um, you, you the ointment overall, like resurrecting a unit, is pretty good. The the other the thing that is like kind of like on the downside is um. It's the five, you know? It yeah. has to be five strength. So I'm not so sure. Also, this is going to be crazy, crazy on the mirror uh, spies. We're going to see so many spies. Somebody's going to go, like, uh, mill themselves. Right. Yeah, it's it's it seems like... Uh... It's just, it's real, it, it, it's it's not it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing that they're getting another archetype. It's just, it's so different from what we're used to seeing. Um, we'll just have to wait and see it. This thing looks like a big old dude, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, next one's the Slave Driver. He's an officer. Spawn a bronze unit from your opponent's deck. Now, Spawn doesn't actually steal it. It just gives you the option of three to pick from. But still, that, that third option might be something that's going to... In the mirror, I mean, oh my god, you put these in here, you're stealing all kinds of fun stuff. Mm, look, I'm telling you this. This card is the best bronze card that they have. And the second Better one, than this one? Oh, I think that, okay, first of all, to all the people out there, Viper of the School, amazing, amazing uh, card, all right? But this one, overall, it's better. It's a bronze card plus three strength. That's the way I see it. Because, you're yes, you might have, like, a, a risk of getting something bad, but, like, dude, you're getting a, a bronze card plus three. You know what I'm saying? On two different bodies. So that's another another thing. Yeah. Just you're getting two bodies and such. And now with this, if you do like a slave driver plus uh, ointment, woof, that is really good, dude. Yeah, it's it's gonna be. It's like I said, it's gonna be really really different. How Nilfgaard's gonna, how this this deck is gonna pan out once it's all built. I just I'm really curious to see how it all plays out. Uh, Next, we got Yennefer. She's going to a Marilyn Manson concert. She's ready. Uh, Yennefer Tremors, Mage, <laughs> spawn the last bronze or silver spell you played. So, I mean, you could be... Unfortunately, this doesn't banish things to the Shadow Realm uh, as uh, Gwent to Town uh, told me. <laughs> on the thing. It, it's a neutral, neutral unit. If this was banish a unit, I would play this and this all day long and just watch people concede. <laughs> um, well, I was thinking already shenanigans, dude. Like, okay, so let's say, you know, a couple games. It's not going to happen often, but you play a spy, right? The force the pass. And then after that, uh, you end up winning it. And then after that, you play this card. And then and we have... You have that spy replayability, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, it uh, it doesn't say it's not doomed. So I mean. Yeah. Summoning. So can you pull summoning circle with this? It doesn't say you I can't. Mean, I mean, exactly. It doesn't say you can't. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You can do that, or I don't know. I think that it might be. Uh, for example, let's say as uh, you play spy, they pass. You play hero. Uh, you go first. You play Jennifer. And yeah. then that's it. That will be another spot, yeah? Yep. 
yeah, they're it's card advantage if you play it the right way, definitely. I, I, and then after that, you play uh, Siri, normal Siri. Bam! Dude, we're making it! We're making it! <laughs> right, right. Yeah, Jennifer and Siri, it's always nice to see them together in a deck. Um, I, all I gotta, all I gotta say is, man, I've been Team Triss for a long time, man. Uh, Triss better step her game up, man, because uh, don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> Yennefer's looking don't pretty talk good. To me. Uh, let's jump down to Northern Realms. That's uh, yeah, we better they, change the topic. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> they're getting all kinds of evilness going. I, I'm loving it, man. We got Ronvid on the team now. We got all these, you know, evil cards, man. Uh, first up, the Tormented Mage, Mage Cursed. Two strength, look at a bronze spell, look at two bronze spells or items from your deck and then play one. I think this card is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and make something with the Eratuzas in this and just weather the living hell out of people with it. <laughs> I, I, I just, that's what I'm, I'm if, if people don't have the answer for weather, man, you're going to. You're gonna give them a really hard time, man. I, I I really really like this card. What do you think about me? I, I okay. So here's gonna be the argument, right? So the argument that a lot of people are going to have is that if you're gonna play weather, why don't you play the four girl that I'm gonna weather, play them right? both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play them both, man. I think that the the what also might be doing this a little bit better is that you can use an item. Right? Yeah. The other one is, is is locked to a spell. This one is actually locked to a, a spell or an item. So I really want to see how well items integrate into this game in order to do like a good evaluation for this card. But the artwork, 10 out of 10. Yeah, it looks awesome. Same thing with the next one. This card doesn't seem as good though. Damned Sorceress, Mage Cursed, 4 Strength. If there is a cursed unit on its row, deal seven damage. So it's if it's if it meets the criteria, it's a better death mold. Well, but if it, if it doesn't, you know, it's just it, like if you pull this at the end of round, you know, in round three, and you ain't got nothing else. Oh, yeah. It's four strength. It's a it's a cry every time situation. I wonder because a lot of people are gonna be playing Corsa Skellige, right? But I don't know if the curses has to be on your unit side of the row, or like theirs. Um, so for example, I think it would say, say opposing row, wouldn't it? Opposite mm -hmm. row. I think it might be right. So then it's a friendly unit has to be cursed. If there is a cursed unit on this unit's row, I I always thought if it was on the other side, it was opposing row. Oh, okay. So but... yeah, then you're right. But yeah, it, 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 if if you're gonna play, if you're gonna go all in on this curse, this cursed deck, I mean, it it might be worth it. But I I just think if if you don't have a cursed unit on that row, or if somebody moves that thing away, I noticed too that if you're looking at these, none of these have siege tags or anything on them. Nope. Everything's just strength. So. We'll have yeah. to wait and see on that, too. Uh, next card, me and Manny were trying to figure this one out. and uh, uh, It's it's Hubert Rake. Drain all boosts from units in your deck. So you, we were just joking around. We were saying, well, you make a 40-card deck, you play full test, and then you play this guy, and you've got a 47-strength <laughs> guy. <laughs> um, I don't know if he... It, it it said it, I think it was worded different on the stream. I think they got this wrong on the website. I thought what they said on the site was he counters full test. If if he were to boost all the units in your in the opponent's deck, he takes it away. But this one we're gonna have to wait on. Uh, what what do you think, man? So okay, so if he works like the way that that they say on the stream, he's going to be so good against Snickers. Yeah. So damn good, dude. Like, oh my god. Like, oof. I can't wait to play this card against that. And if he plays like this, I can't wait, I can't wait to play a Bamboozle game where I just play full test and I play <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, you throw out the... You, you, you play full test and then you throw out uh, Thaler and they're like, oh, okay. And then you just He-Man down a 48 strength. Guy. You know, all, all in, dude. All in. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and for like clarification on how this one. We I tried looking up on on Reddit and stuff to see how it worked, but I thought that's how they said it on the site or on the stream was. 
he takes from your the opponent's deck, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Next card, this is my new favorite premium card. This card is so badass. I mean, it's mm-hmm. just... I just was sitting there and just... Uh, my If I don't win the... The faction challenge, a hundred of the scraps is going, or premium powder is going for this bad boy right here. This card looks so sick, premium. Um, it's uh, Kian. He's a cursed Witcher, and it's choose one spawn bronze or silver alchemy card, or spawn a bronze or silver item. I don't know about this card, but I know I'm going to own it. <laughs> uh, it, it I, I'd like to see if Northern Realms gets like a silver. A really good silver item. I noticed that Nilfgaard's got some, but if if uh, if Northern Realms gets a really sick item, especially if it's uh, machine synergy, I'm definitely going to be playing this card. What do you think about it, Manny? And with the current pull, it doesn't seem very very good, but yeah, it seems like around like 13 points. Like I'm trying to see combos with him. They all average. Under 15, right? Right. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, you know. Oh, guys, always make sure to let me know if I'm wrong. And, you know, because, you know, I like to know this kind of stuff. But other ways, I don't know. He seems kind of like around that area, 13 to 15. Yeah. Uh, next up, Scoyatel. Man, they, it seems like they're getting the short end of the stick here, man. I mean, even even though they got our boy, Mr. Pavel, here. <laughs> um, some of these cards, like this one, it's a uh, it's a panther. It's four strength, deal seven damage to an enemy on a row with less than three units. So it has to meet a specific row criteria. Um, I mean, it's nice to have it in the beginning. I mean, you could just keep nuking your opponent's stuff as long as it's under, you know, seven strength. But once again. What what do you think about it, man? I, I don't know about this. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this because I was thinking, okay, yes, it's it's cool, right? Like for example, if you do like um like a mercenary into first light, into panther, into uh, thunder, right? But that's already gambling too much, and you could you could just cut the middleman and just do mercenary into thunder, and that's it, and you know. You, and you thin a lot better too. Yes, and um, then with the panther. With a Panther, like, dude, you draw this in, like, turn four? Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm, I'm still... I, 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 I still think we got to wait to see what the, the cap is on the rows. I think it's going to be seven. That's what I think, because I don't think it'll be five. I think five's too low because you can't play around Commander's Horn. But I think seven on a row is going to be... The, it's either going to be seven or ten. Um, but the, this card, it just... I don't know. It just doesn't seem... It, it seems pretty underwhelming. Uh, next one, uh, uh, Paco Gale, Pavko Gale, soldier. It's uh, Pavel's um, <laughs> portrait there. It says, play a random bronze or silver item from your deck. Um, so you can manipulate this card like a John Natalis to where it has just that one item in there, but then, you know, you might run the risk of it being dead or put two of them in there and he can pull it out for you. It all depends on what the items are going to be. Um, hopefully Scoyatel gets a good item card because right now, man, they're, they're looking pretty sad. I mean, it, I don't, I don't know. know. Dude. I, I'm really I really like this card. I, I think it's going to be good if, if, if they get a good silver item card, like if they get something that's, that's worth pulling with this, I think it's going to be great. Um, especially if it's like a damage and you put it in with the movement or the hand buff deck, um, I'll, I'll play it for sure. <laughs> for sure. What is it? Uh, play a random bronze or silver item from your deck. I really i am putting a lot of faith here that they, there's going to be a silver neutral item because yeah. items are, you know, the new hot thing. So everybody wants, uh, everybody's going to try attempt to do the, uh, an item deck, including myself, you know. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 there's, there's something there. It's, it, they're not just going to give Pavel a five string card. It's not going to do anything, you know what I mean? So, 
it uh, I, I hope they get a good one a good silver to synergize with this combo here it'd be great sorry mad max is going on the back <laughs> <laughs> the, the guy with the guitar he's got his flamethrower on the front it's of the bug he's going down there dude. Yeah. um next one up xavier morin he's a dwarf um boost this unit by the starting power of the last dwarf you played it is boost so even if you do play something that's hand buffed you know by 15 or something like that you add 15 to this guy but uh it is boost so once again it, it's subject to any kind of you know reset shenanigans that you can have mm -hmm. uh, it see like it's just another card it just seems really underwhelming it's it's a it's a heavy hitter but it's 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 just really vulnerable i'm not so sure how, like i i don't even know like as how much of a heavy hitter it is uh let's see if you could boost, like a, i mean the strongest it, it, probably like 19 20 you know you could probably get it up there because i mean those okay. hand the ones that throw you know three on something you know you you, you could probably I, I could see it getting up into the 20s but i see okay i get it like yeah but still like you say it's vulnerable and we'll have to see the meta how it turns around who knows you might see a lot of play yeah um, cool, cool card. Just I don't know if it's gonna, it's gonna make it with you know our boy up here, uh, Isengrim Outlaw. Um, <laughs> last set, um, Nilfgar or uh, Skellige. Uh, we got uh, the Beastmaster, uh, Spawn a Bear. As uh, I was telling Manny earlier, to get the deck name for this, it's uh, Build a Bear Workshop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, he just spawns the. Uh, the bear the 11 strength bear so it's a 12 strength card uh, apparently there's going to be some kind of bear deck that we still haven't seen in this this stuff here what do you what do you think of this one manny it just well the developers actually like emphasized that the bear was going to be chorus right right so i think it has to do with chorus so that's why i uh i don't know it might it might feed on the bear one but might, who knows maybe in the course uh by itself yeah yeah, they're, yeah they're, it, it just seems like it's going to be its own little deck that they're going to have. It, uh, it's probably going to be pretty good, though. Um, it's probably going to have something to do with Warcry, maybe, where you could ping your own guys. Uh, next up, uh, Ornamental Sword, Special Item. Uh, spawn a Skellige Soldier and strengthen it by three, so you could pull an Axeman with this. Um, mm -hmm. You could pull, I believe, the Haymaid Battle Maidens. I believe they're Soldiers. The torch, torch myth, uh, you could raiders. you could pull a queen's guard with it. <laughs> no one's playing really? queen's guard. I don't think a queen's guard should be soldiers. You would think, but um, it, it, nobody's gonna play queen's guard anyways. They they might as well just delete them from the game. That was the most impressive statement I've already done. Like, uh, I, I love well Queen's leave. Guard, man. I mean, <laughs> with the the video we got, you know, it probably came out yesterday. The uh, or it, it should be out today, um, where me and Manny play some uh, can be Queen's Guard. But I don't. This one, it, it if there's something that can, it, I always look at these specials. If you can't, if it's not something super crazy, uh, it's got to be able to be pulled from some other card. So. It's it's a res. It, I mean, when you got something like um, restore, you know, why would you run this over restore? Hmm. That's see. the way I look at it. But yeah, it's it is spawn though. It, you get an extra one, so I mean, I guess you can look at it that way. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that each one is gonna have its own use, especially because this is a an item. So once again, that tag item. It's one of those things that might have extremely yeah, good so value of it, it just it, by having the tag. If Pavel had that card along with it, he'd be he'd be in like Flynn in all my lists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last card though, uh, I'm not even gonna try to say dude's name. He's a cursed beast. He's eight strength. Deal two damage to each damaged enemy. Um, so I think he fall. I, I was telling Manny, he's like Babjorn Jr. I just. It, you, the guys have to be damaged for him to get any type of value. Um, you'd have to play some kind of like tremors or 
you know, you'd have to lacerate like a whole row and then maybe you can get some value out of it. I don't know. I, I like this card. Okay, I'll tell you why. All right, so... Sell me again. on this one, Manny. Sell okay, me okay, on Okay, check it. this out. All right, all right. So first of all, dude, it has a fantastic name, all right? It's, it rolls down the tongue like that. Oh, for first, the name is... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those cards that you really want to have on your deck, and the, one, the reason why you want to have it on your deck is because if it's Axeman and it also feels self-wounding, you're going to use a couple, like, tumors, and if your opponent doesn't have an answer right there and then, you're like, okay, how about now? And then you do it again, and then you just boost that uh, with a curse. I think that at least he's going to get, like, 15 plus. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe the artwork is just talking to me, but I really like the way it's going on. Yeah, I, I, I just it, it, there's a reason why Vabjorn's not played. I mean, it, it, you're killing something that's damaged, and this guy's trying to get you know hit multiple targets. I mean, yeah, there's going to be that dream where your whole board, you know, you play this with with Ragnarug or something, and everything got hit once, and you just nuke their whole board, and the Dandelion <laughs> Show loves you for it. <laughs> but <laughs> but. Uh, I, I don't know about this one, man. I just uh, I'm I'm sure this will be the one that I pull when I when I do my pack openings. But uh, I wouldn't be sad about it. I just I just think it's it's extremely it. I, I think it's an underwhelming card. It, it has an extremely high ceiling, but an extremely low floor of eight strength. <laughs> yeah, it just seems, True. you know. But we ended kind of on a sad note, so. Um, I don't know. I'm on a hard note with this yeah. one. I'm, the polar opposites right here, dude. Yeah, I think uh, all all in all, the the cards look really really good. There's still three more streams for uh, cards to be revealed. So um, I think we're gonna have another one later this week. Is that what he said, or next week? I'm actually not sure that he wasn't paying attention. It, I, I, I was tweeting. Next, I think it's next week. Yeah, you were going off on there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look at this card. I'm like, I they didn't even show it yet. Yeah, I, mean, I don't care. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, that's the video for today, guys. We'll uh, we'll try to get them out as soon as uh, the next next batch rolls out. Uh, sometimes I can, sometimes I can. It all depends on when they stream it and stuff. But uh, you got anything to say for the the people's Manny? No, no, just shout outs. If you have to make it into the, this part of the video, thanks so much. You, get, you are awesome. Uh, make sure you give Double Driven one one sub right there. If you haven't already, make sure you give a like if you already get Manny's the man. That's 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 why me and Manny get along so good. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the video for today, guys, like always. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon here uh, with more cards.